Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do an unboxing videos on I do 3D printing pen. In this videos, I have four different boxes from I do 3D pens, and I'm gonna show you what's difference between these four boxes. This one is a one pen box. It comes with the pink pens and no molds. And this one is two pen box. This two pen box is a little bit special because it comes with the low bar body. It's the very best one, so you can build on top of it. And it comes with four different molds that you can build a 3D object of. And this one is from three pen box. It comes with white, pink, and purple. And this box comes with two different molds. This one is five pen box. Blue, purple, green, orange, and red. And the same two different molds. Now, let's see. This is the pen that comes in the boxes. They are all the same. You just need to take out the lid and put the tips on. And we're gonna do that with all the pens. Now this is the light. The one on your left, this one is the old one, come from the old boxes that I had last year. It looks like a flashlight and it requires battery. And on the all light, you usually use pen and then make the object or draw anything you like and use the flashlight kind of light to draw it. Now on the new one, it's a little bit different. You can attach this new light onto the pen, so you can actually draw 3D with this light. To attach this light to the pen, you will need to push it in all the way, and then until you hear a click, then it should be secure pretty good. For the 2D, you will need to leave the lights off. That way you can draw just like it before and then turn on the light and draw it. But if you want to draw on the air, then you need to start squeezing, then the in running and turn the lights on. And then you can actually draw on the air. So this is a new feature that I really like and I think it's a pretty cool feature that they have input on this new one. Now let's see how we make a 3D object. I'm gonna make a cube, so we use 2Ds with lights up and draw a base. And after you have base, we're gonna start drawing on the air. So let the in running and turn on the light. And start to pull your pen up on the air slowly. Then that's it. Pretty easy to use. And pretty cool, you can basically draw anything you like. You can draw a straight line or curved lines or anything, pretty much anything you can imagine. Now we're going to connect this cube on the top. This is the future that your old pen would not be able to do. So pretty cool, but the rest of it is pretty much like the old one. So now you can add to it, to the cube that we already made, the same, just use the same technique. So now this is a curved line that you can draw, and the same, just different angles. Now we're going to make a basic character. So this is the feet, and draw into the air, make the body. The yeah, actually is pretty fun. The only thing I don't like about this pen is the ink is really sticky, so it might be kind of messy, but I learned a new way to manage the messy part, because every time you finish drawing, then use your paper towel and then just clean out the tip, then you should be able to keep it pretty clean on the pen, but on the object that you create, it will be still sticky a little bit on the surface. Now let's make a palm tree with our stencil. So basically just draw it in any way you like. So we make a trunk first and then draw the leaf. And since this pen are able to draw in the curve, so now we can make the leaves look more realistic.
the palm trees. This is my first attempt, so I think I'm pretty happy with the result. Now let's make some dream catcher. For the dream catcher, I'm gonna make two Ds. So for the two D, while you draw it, you don't need light, and then you can use light to draw it after you're done. Hope you enjoyed these videos. If you like to see more unboxing videos on my channel, leave a comment down below and let me know what kind of product would you like to see. And if you have any suggestion for my next video, let me know. I will try my best to make it happen. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.